updates. I, I want to introduce, I'm sure you know, uh, Ginny Harris, deputy. And we come today to the key issue of schools, uh, where we've been consistently advised that there is an important trade-off. And so far, the judgment of our advisors has been that closing schools is actually of limited value in slowing the spread of the epidemic. And that's partly because, counterintuitively, schools are actually very safe environments. And uh, in this disease, in this ep epidemic, children and young people are much less vulnerable. And hitherto, uh, the advice has been that we should keep schools open if possible in order to reduce pressure on the NHS and, uh, and on all other public services. But I think you'll, you'll agree that I've always been very clear that this is a balanced judgment and one that we've kept under constant review. So looking at the curve of the disease, looking at where we are now, we think now that we must apply downward pressure, further downward pressure on that upward curve by closing the schools. So uh, I can announce today, and uh, Gavin Williamson is making a, a, a statement now in the, in the House of Commons, that after schools shut their gates from Friday afternoon, they will remain closed for most pupils, for the vast majority of pupils, until further notice. And I'll come to, uh, I'll explain what I mean by the vast majority of pupils. The objective is to slow the spread of the virus, and as I say, we judge that this is the right moment to do 